World Health Organization organized global meeting of the network for improving quality of care for maternal, newborn, and child health. This meeting aims to engage with the champions from government, implementing partners and other stakeholders, reflect on five years of effort to integrate and systemize quality of care health system and maternal, newborn child health programs. Kweku Ajema Menu, Minister of Health, also urges World Health Organization for coming along with these good initiatives. This is going to help Ghanaians and others in the whole world as a whole. Have the responsibility to promote the well being of mothers and children and ensure they are protected from such avoidable emergencies. We can only achieve this if we strengthen our primary health care systems by ensuring services are ready and available at the right time in the right place. <coughs> Our ambition for a better health coverage will only be an illusion if we are not conscious of quality of care. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the sustainable development goals set ambitions Health-related targets, ambitious, sorry. The other thing is set ambitious health-related targets for mothers, newborns, and children to be achieved by 2030 in the context of progress towards universal health coverage. These are key priorities for, for countries, including Ghana, as reflected in the World Health Assembly resolutions on UAC, WHS 64.9 and the new Global Strategy for Women, Children and Adolescents Health, WHA 69.2. Quality of health services at all levels and for all services has been a challenge in Ghana and all countries on the network. Both objective and the total assessments have shown that the quality of health care services in the country has been described as inadequate by providers and clients. Effective oversight the quality approaches needs strengthening for significant impact on patient experience and health outcomes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me say that the past two to three decades has seen considerable efforts and investments in promoting maternal and newborn health in Ghana. This has resulted in increased coverage in maternal and newborn health indicators. ANC by skilled provider increased from 96% to 98%. Beds for caring in the health facility increased from 54% to 79%. And beds attended by a skilled provider increased from 55% to 79%. Neonatal and infant mortality reduced from 29 to 25 and 50 to 37 per thousand life births respectively. Despite this test progress, Ghana's maternal mortality of 319 per 100,000 live births raises red flags for mothers and babies receiving care. Most of these deaths are preventable, and about 65% of them attributable to four causes postpartum breach, hypertensive disorders, abortion, and sepsis. Despite considerable investment in healthcare, there is still a lot more to be done to further reduce maternal and neonatal mortality. The current number of sick deaths could be more than halved by accelerated investments in providing access to essential reproductive health services, such as family planning, skilled attendance at childbirth, administration of oxytocin for management of postpartum breach, and use of magnesium sulfate for treatment of pregnancy in deals and intensive disorders. Universal access to emergency obstetric and neonatal care could reduce maternal mortality by 90% to 38 per 100,000 live births. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as a network, let us continue to complement our existing national health quality strategies and ensure that every pregnant woman and newborn receives the highest standard of care Throughout the